fun time of year, Marine says. Go Navy. <laughs> Everybody. Mighty smart guy Matt Zapala here, hailing to you from the Army Navy game, baby. Have you heard of the saying that your network is your net worth? That the amount of people that you know or the people that know you has a direct correlation between the success of your career, your business, and your bank account? Is it as you're launching off into your new year, as you're launching off into your new business, you're launching off into a new uncharted territory of your life? that it's not necessarily the connections that you have, but the relationships that you build. This is um, Argentinian prepared ribeye. Okay. Delicious and nutritious. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. All right, guys. Uh, you already know we're about to eat good. This is uh, day two of eating steak, so maybe we can hit up day three. We're gonna make this a streak of eating steak. Listen, there's a difference between followers on social media and you actually having connections with relationships and you actually building a real business. What I'm talking about is you building a connection, not just with people that follow you online, but doing it offline. You see, what I've realized is that people are smart. They'll figure out whether or not you really actually have a business that you really have some value to provide, or whether or not you're really just toying around with entrepreneurship. It's the difference between following and building a following. What I've learned over the years of building a business it's much more fruitful to build with the people that you built a connection and a friendship and a reputation with and just not a connection with. Because at the end of the day, if you want to build a business where people are referring people to you, that your phone is ringing, you've got to build an investment in people. Now, yes, that takes work. Over the last few years, I've built a much, much deeper connection and relationship with my business partners, our associates, by simply having weekly conference calls, devoting ourselves to weekly workshops, devoting ourselves to co-hosting two conferences across the country, all the while traveling the world too. And all of this is voluntary. Not only do we get to talk shop along the way, but we find ways to challenge each other, to raise each other's games, and in some instances, even create rivalries. You say rivalries, really? Talk to me about rivalries. Actually, rivalries is a good thing. Rivalries bring people together and bring out the best in one another. You see, rivalries forces you to grow. Think about some of the biggest college football rivalries out there. Ohio State versus Michigan. Alabama versus Auburn. The Chicago Bears versus the Green Bay Packers. Did somebody say Packers? Uh, yes, Lola. I'm in the middle of a vlog. Yes? Yes, the Bears. The Bears go beat the Packers. Okay, thanks, Lola. Growing up in Chicago, a lot of those rivals really didn't mean a lot to me because I wasn't part of those college towns. Outside of the Chicago Bears or the Packers, rivalries really never meant much until I enlisted into the Marine Corps right after high school. And then I discovered the rivalry of Army versus Navy, America's game.
And because of this rivalry, it brought together Bill Corman, who's building an office out of Annapolis, Maryland, as well as my business partner, Chris Hart, who came from Rancho Cucamonga. Bugger, let's check off for the Money Smart Guy. I'm coming to the Army Navy game with these guys right here. Right after the Army Navy game, a game where heroes play. The only way today really is the United States of America. And while I was snapping in my Instagram story, out of nowhere, my Marine Corps buddy from 20 years ago, Maurice Williams, who has his own cigar brand called Guy and Lady Barrel, comes out to Woolwork and finds me at the Ashton Cigar Lounge. Double dogs in the house, man. Yeah, hey, with the money smart guy. Yeah. That's right. That's Marie's smart. taking over. Hey, Army Navy game. Go Navy. Beat Army, baby. Let's go, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Era. And based on this rivalry and investment into relationships, it brought together a new friendship with a fellow devil dog named Armando Nava the Beast, who has a YouTube channel of over 450,000 people subscribed to his channel, and he runs a six-figure online business, all the while being in the military on active duty. He reached out to me via Instagram and said, hey, listen, let's get together. I'd love to get to mentorship and check out this devil dog. He already understands that his age his first enlistment to the Marine Corps about to get out, you already understand the value of relationships, mentorship, having people get him to the next level. He's already willing to invest time, money into doing so. I'm very proud of him. I'm looking forward to big things coming him into the future. Business is a great magnifier of how you have invested into relationships, not just connections. And I'm just curious, how many of you value relationships, just not connections? Drop them in the comment section below. I'll be sure to respond. And as I wrap things up, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for tuning into this vlog of living money smart and building relationships in your business. If you're watching this on YouTube, please make sure you click subscribe and click notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like and follow our business page. Follow these guys' channel and until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today. Oh.